After years of neglect, one Henrico nonprofit uncovered thousands of grave sites at a historic black cemetery. But there are still a number of unidentified remains that need to be discovered. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson spoke with the organization today and shares more about their restoration efforts. Roland. Deanna, that's right. In the past two years alone, the Woodland Restoration Foundation has recovered a number of people at the Woodland Cemetery. And in the process, they've also reconnected a lot of families. But they tell me today there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Wooded area is about one third of the cemetery. And there's graves all through here. One third of the 30 acres of land found at Woodland Cemetery still hasn't been restored. So see all these depressions over here? All those are sunken graves. Over the past two years, the Woodland Restoration Foundation has led efforts in cleaning up the area to its original intent from 1917 to be a resting place for the black community. I spoke with John Shook, who has been a part of this effort, and he tells me that out of the 30,000 people that they believe to be buried here, it brings him joy every time he is able to reconnect a family with their loved ones. We had a guy come out, and he was looking for his grandfather's grave. And I took him over there and he said, oh, you made my day. No, you made my month. You will find a similar story at cemeteries like the East End and Evergreen. Hidden behind tall grass and trees, you will find trailblazers in the black community like Arthur Ashe, Maggie Walker, and founders of historically black Greek-lettered organizations. Without proper funding and years of neglect, descendants like Johnny Mickens, the great-grandson of Maggie Walker, have found it difficult to visit loved ones. It hurts, but you know, the only thing we can do is just make sure one section is done and hopefully we can do them all one at a time. Now the Woodland Restoration Foundation also tells me in order to connect these families, they take a photo of every gravestone and put a marker down for every burial site that they found. They tell me this information is posted on their website but can also be found at Ancestry.com. I have more information for you online at WRIC.com. Live in Chesterfield, Roland Wilson, 8 News.